Hey Voodoo Dragon Gaming family and welcome to another video where we go over the forest today. Today we're going to go over the chainsaw location so I'm going to show you where to find a couple of gas cans to get you started as well as a chainsaw to help you with your tree trimming needs. Before we get into that let me remind you I stream on Twitch every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Link for that will be in the description below. Also check out my social media where you can find an up to date stream schedule and highlights from previous gameplay. Links for that will be in the description below as well. Also, if you're new to the Voodoo Dragon Gaming family, please don't forget to hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and ding that bell so you get notified on when I drop new videos or if I happen to go live on YouTube. On YouTube. Now, before we start in today's video, let me also remind you to check out BurningAltar.net. BurningAltar.net is your custom candle one-stop shop where you can find all candles from your coffee bombs to your little hoodies. And don't forget to tell where the dragon sent you by putting in Dragon Family and check at checkout for the promo code to save yourself 20% on any order over $25 or more. Alright, now let's get into today's video. Alright, so your plane just crashed. You're looking for the perfect place to build your base. So you're going to come looking for this spot right here. It's going to be at the south of the map. So which means that this place is going to be perfect because there's water along each side. Which means that you're going to be able to find fish. You're going to be able to find food. You're going to be able to go towards the back of it and use the ocean for wherever you need to go. But that's not what this video is about today. We did, we did a video over crafting. And I'll put that up in the top corner to let you all see that one. But... Uh, today we're going to go over where to find the chainsaw to help you with your crafting needs. Now, see, since we're getting over here and it's getting a little dark, what we're going to do is we're just going to get over here. I'm going to start pointing you in the right direction. And then we're going to wait for it to brighten up. Because, well, let's face it. How hard is, how easy is it to find stuff in the dark? Not really. So that's why we're going to wait for daytime to come. So let me get over here. Now remember as you're going, you know... Grab your leaves, grab your sticks, grab everything because you're going to need a crafted stick for this. Because let's face it, it's going to be dark. Alright, daylights came. Now, for if you're facing the way we just were, you're going to move to your left. And you're going to see these tents over here. Now when you see these tents, you're going to see this rock pile right behind it. This rock pile is actually a cave entrance. We're going to head to that cave entrance, but first I'll always check around wherever you're at for little pieces like this so let's get that little stone real quick but check for these little pieces right here these are story pieces and these pieces tell you all about the story and what's going on so when you go in mind you it's better to go in with the ladder already lit because as you can see it's dark as fuck in here so we're going to use our upgraded stick for this. We're going to light our upgraded stick, use it for a torch. That way we can see our way through. Let's wait for our buddy to get in here. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Caw! <laughs> All right. Now that we've burnt up our upgraded stick, let's remake it again. Because he took too long. Great. Thanks. All right. So remember, as you get in here, you more than likely won't see any cannibals right off the bat. I've had one time where I've came in here and I've had a cannibal just attack me right off the bat, but that was a once in a lifetime thing. I've been in here four times looking for different stuff and yeah. But as you make your way in here, don't forget to collect everything because you do have story pieces in here as well. You're going to find a piece of Timmy's toy. Uh, and if that was a spoiler, I'm sorry. But we're going to find pieces of Timmy's toy in here. We're going to find people that were from the plane. And so we make our way over here. As soon as I remember where over here is. Oh yeah, it's over here. Alright, so as soon as we make our way over here. Let's relight our stick again because it went out. You're going to see this wall. Now you can use 
rock climbing gear to get up here or you can just hop on down it's not that far down it's not gonna hurt you as you can see I didn't lose no health from hopping down let's make our way to the back of the cave because you might think this is where you get the chainsaw but it's not alright as we see this rope we're gonna go ahead and go down the rope now mind you you can slowly go down or you can speed down the rope depending on what whatever you're on xbox playstation computer they're all different keys mine's l3 to get down but as you come through here you're going to come through this little opening right here and over to your left sorry let's get the gas cans first <laughs> over to your left you're going to see the chainsaw go ahead and pick up this bad boy cause yep that'll help us a lot cause trust me once we get up there and we start cutting down trees and you start using your hatchet you're gonna wear yourself out especially depending on if you're building a big old wall or not cause see for my first base I sat there and took my hatchet to build it and wished I'd hell I never had cause I was so sick and tired of building after that but don't forget to break open all your little boxes there might be something in it might not but if they, you can find the rags you need to help you craft that's going to be an awesome thing that will help you out a lot now to get out you have two options if you're in solo you could easily just go aggravate one of these cannibals dudes let them beat the crap out of you let them carry you back to their base where you're hanging upside down unless you've already been through that then I wouldn't recommend it or you can kill the four cannibals that's over here kill the six little baby cannibals and work your way through the cave now we're gonna work our way through the cave because this is multiplayer we don't have that option to get killed and just end up at the cannibals camp I suck with a spear, I know. <laughs> I don't think I've hit that dude once. I think I hit my teammate more than I hit that guy. But, just. Alright, so, now that you've killed all the cannibals and you're getting ready to kill all the baby cannibals, it's easy to find your way out. I'll, lead you, I'll even lead the way for you. Don't forget to take those little things out now again you're gonna come over here there's gonna be a whole lot of boxes so after you kill the babies and just to avoid them just keep moving cuz yeah once they jump they jump where you were just stay out of their way and it's easy as soon as you get out of their way you know you might have to revive a friend or so or he might have to revive you depending on if they got a lucky shot you got coins over here you got another piece of the story mode but after you get through here and you collect all your stuff I really haven't seen anything in these boxes but I'm still not going to be hesitant on busting them open because let's face it you never know what you're going to find so just go ahead and bust them open I found some dynamite in one and one of the camps so yeah alright so we make our way in here across the wooden little scaves let me get him because apparently we lost him <laughs> Now, if you're new to the game, this is why I make these videos, because I want you to be able to find your way around. Because, yeah, it can be tricky down here in these little, in these little caves, and you're going to find your way through here. I'm going to check ahead real quick while he's still looking around. So he's, I'm going to let him know where the hole is. Alright, no, we, may, we checked around. There's nothing in there. Let me signal him to come through. Now, remind you, if you bring in somebody new and like you start playing and you understand the game a little bit more than they do, do give them a hand. Do like look ahead for them. And don't forget when you're on the rope to stop and let your stamina build back up because the last thing you want to do is get up to the top right here and have a cannibal just ready to eat you. Because right in here is where we're going to come into most of our cannibals. We're even going to experience an armsy. Remember to block when you're coming through. Block on PlayStation is L2. I believe it's left bumper on Xbox. And I'm not sure what it is on 
PC. So just remember to check your uh, options and find out which one's which. Never hurts. And I'm going to let him explore a little bit why I keep these guys off of him and keep these guys busy. And once we get rid once those guys are off of us, we're going to come through. And we're going to see what he's discovered. Oh, look at the cross. That's part of the story too. Alright, so we have that little cave we can go through. We can go through the water. I asked him what he wanted to do. So we ended up just going through the water. Now, mind you, like I said, wherever you're at, always make sure you break open suitcases, look for stuff, because all this stuff is going to come in handy later on. Trust me, you, when you're playing solo, you can save and exit and everything respawns, except for the suitcases at the crash site. They don't respawn as much. But now, when you're playing multiplayer, you both can save and exit, and it does the same thing depending on the mode you're playing in. Right now we're playing in, in normal, so for us everything will respawn. If you're playing hard survival, I think once everything is gone, it's gone. I haven't actually played it yet to check it out. I've just been going through the game to get a feel for it and to see what it's like and to be able to make these awesome videos for y'all. But, yeah. And as we find our way through the cave, we're going to find our exit and... This is why I make sure to remind y'all to go through, do what you gotta do, find everything you can find, because, let's face it, my friend thought this is where we found the samurai sword, but we'll do a video over that one sometime soon, because there's an armsy in there that I've been wanting to get some payback on, but until then, I am the Blue Voodoo Dragon. I stream on Twitch every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Also check out my social media for up for my update stream schedule and highlights. And if you're new to the video, hit the like button, smash that subscribe button, and ding that bell for notifications. Y'all have a great one. Blue Blue Dragon saying peace.